Well, the south campus of Erie Community College was closed today following an actual lockdown because of various threats involving a student. It is safe now on campus, but Channel 2's Ron Plants tells us that as police from various departments arrived to begin an extensive search. Police carrying tactical AR-15 rifles quickly converged on the ECC South Campus in the rainy morning hours. This after college officials put out the word of a lockdown for the campus, which is located in portions of both Hamburg and Orchard Park. This is all based on what the college says was a threat made off campus. Earlier this morning, one of our students reported that they had been in an off-campus incident with another student last night. Um, and that resulted in the other student threatening them. Those, threatens, those threats carried over to this morning. But as a precaution, police closed off roads in and out of the campus and an extensive search began with a heavily armed officers. We have seven buildings on campus that were searched today. So they went from, they went um, methodically through each building um, with a different police force with a member of our security office to check everything from classrooms to offices to bathrooms to closets. So every, every crevice of the campus was searched. Also, there was a simultaneous effort underway to locate the students who were involved, especially the students who made the threat. At this point, we're not aware that anybody is in custody um, because there is an ongoing investigation. What we know is that the student has been located and is being interviewed by the police. They would not give any details on the students who were involved. All we know is that again, while classes have not started back yet for the fall session, some students were there for pre-registration or athletes were on campus for college sports practice. The campus was eventually closed down to allow people to quote decompress. Hamburg police have not yet responded to our calls for more information. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.